tahun sebelum. Oh. I have a secret. I have a terrible short game. That's not a secret. Everyone knows that. From 100 yards and in, I really struggle. Chip shots, pitch shots, bunker shots, and we're not even gonna talk about putting. I need help. Luckily, I found someone who can help me. Todd, I'm, yep. I'm in a bit of trouble, and I think a lot of people watching this video will also struggle with short game, right? Yep. Is, is it the most important part of golf? Place for it to be the said to the hardest and the most important. Yeah. Um, but I think like there's that window of 50 to 90 yards that it can be the hardest as well. Yeah, and I so I struggle with that the most. I hit I hit the ball a decent decent way, but yep. when I get into that scoring part, it's yep. just like it, it keeps me up at night almost. You know, <laughs> yeah, some, yeah, some yeah, of the yeah, bad okay. shots that I hit as we talked yep. about already, blading it into a into a clubhouse, hitting shots, yep. which I will say right now, we just had a little fitting session and those were my um, my marks on the ground. Show me how it's meant to be done first, if you want to put it where high, you like. high pressure that is, Alex. Uh, no, I saw your finish last week, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Would you say short game, um, hundred yards and is the strength of your game? I've seen your stats. Um, I'd say so. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, especially around the greens, like close yeah. around the greens, up can be a, is okay. a good strength of mine. Um, I think like you've got that period between like forty and seventy. It's like no man's land. I think <laughs> I call it. Yeah. Um, it's not easy. No. You know because it's transition between short game and and long shots. Yeah. But yeah, I think like, I mean, I can show you here, but yep. it's, it's, it's about, like, you know, like de club delivery and, right. and not being too steep and not being too shallow. Really. Okay. How important is the, the, the club in your hand? Because no tight yeah. is just within your some tens and Huge. Huge. Um, for me, and I think like the, the grind on the club is important to how you deliver yep. it. Okay. Um, that's what I mentioned, I asked you earlier. Yeah. I think having a look at like different grinds, if you're, if you're a digger, you know, like K grind can yeah. really help you out. Just yeah. try and get something that gets back out of the soil. Sure. Um, and obviously, if you're quite shallow, then you're looking at something like an L grind. Yeah. You know, getting you, it gets a bit of turf after it. Okay. That's probably something that amateurs don't really realise how important that is. Yeah, right? huge, like especially, this. you know, like when it gets wet, and, you know, yeah. something that comes out of the soil can yeah. really help you. There's quite a lot of people, we've seen quite a lot of people at certain stores just go and buy three wedges off the rack rather yeah. than using fitting tools, mm. as a tight list, new fitting sort of tool and things like that. I've just got fit for some of these new wedges as well, yeah. which have say it helps to an extent but also knowing the right thing which yeah, I mean, you'll show me to the do new is, wedge uh, is great yeah let's, um, let's, let's see it yeah well i mean for me like i'm looking at like you know kind of the fundamentals a good setup um yep. i think like you see quite a lot of people get too left-sided okay um you know trying to guarantee a strike yeah which is actually <laughs> kind of like the opposite of what you should be trying to do okay um so i'm like you know i'm looking at like a 50 percent split weight wise yeah um handle just ahead of it okay and then kind of like for me i look at it as like a connection of like you know Club's just a collection of my arm, and I'm okay. just trying to like make it a one piece. Right. Okay. Keep it simple. Yep. yep. That's what I'm trying to do. <laughs> oh, it's so good. The sound is so different when you when you just completely get the <laughs> like the type interaction. Yeah. I mean, soft soft ground. ground is it strikes. Yeah. Got, it's I mean, quite important. The, 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 we can see a difference here. Well, if you come and just show the difference and divot of what you should be doing to what you shouldn't be doing, look at that. It's like neat. Whereas that is like very much like you haven't done your homework. Type <laughs> <of course>. <laughs> <laughs> that's um, wrong. That's wrong. Yeah. Incorrect. I mean, for me, I'm you know I think like um, we'll get you watching you couple, yeah. get a couple of shots, but you, you, I mean you're trying to get your, the chest is a vital part okay. of like especially a pitch shot. Okay. Interesting. Um, I see so many people, you know, like they get quite nervous, quite. Yeah. Um, anxious and okay. then you know they're just like arms and they're trying to drive it and yeah that's a bit of a repetition and it's a disaster interesting so from what about 80 yards here what yep. what, what is your stock club that you would use a bit of a um, difficult question of yeah I, yeah I, I use like 58 bent to a 59 really um, okay yeah so I, I would be using something like that right um, well, why is it bent just for gapping purposes just for pure gapping purposes yep. and i think i like the feel of a 60 around the greens okay and then 58 for the right. gapping. So, best of the best. I try to. Okay. Um, I mean, one degree, what does it mean, really? <laughs> yeah. but, but for someone like yourself who's obviously working into inches, not even yards anymore, right? Well, That's really yeah. I mean, you're trying to get as much control yeah. in all areas. Okay. Interesting. Oh, oh let, me, let me hit a shot now Come and on, show yeah. you what. Let me see it. What, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go right by uh, Todd's perfect divot just to show you what not to do. I mean, also, I'm going to try and not, although you've given. Uh, myself and the viewers a lot of really helpful advice that I'm just going to try and nullify that and focus on, yeah. on what I was let's, let's what, the nightmare I was, I was just doing. That was actually quite nice. Unfortunately, that was the best shot I picked probably for a while, but it still was slightly it's different nice. to yours. That yeah, was no, quite that's nice. nice. Would, yeah, let's try. Let's try and get a bad one in there because two in a row. Yeah, this is, this is weird. 
You should follow me around for the rest of the round. <laughs> <laughs> but for me, like if I'm looking at you there, like yeah. I'll give you, like you've set up, to, you've you've got a really wide base, right? Okay, do I? So, yeah, so you've okay. got a really big stance. Like, yeah. yeah to, for me, if I was looking for something like, if you were to like hit a seventy-yard shot, you'd, yeah. it looks like you're about to hit a driver. Oh, do okay. okay. <laughs> um, so if I'm like looking at that, yeah. Like for me, having a like shoulder width apart, like yeah. a bit narrower, and then like if, I mean you've done it really well, but yeah. you're feeling like you you. You're going to go through it like your chest is going to turn, but you're going to get your chest facing the target. Okay, what was it? The finish? But yeah, but right. like you don't need okay. to feel like you're going to drive it. You're more just getting your chest facing the target and okay. three quarter finish. Okay, interesting. So a bit narrower. So, so more just like that, would you say? So, yeah, yeah, that's, if, that's, if, that's pretty good. Okay. Uh, that was different. See the sound of that, that was better. Yeah. Yeah. So is the chest really like the main structure? Yeah, you're going to give because, because to the, the, yeah, because the shot's not long. Yeah. You've got to try and take away like things that are going to, you know, if you've got more moving parts, you've got to get them back yeah. to where it was. Okay. See, I always try and make it as basic as I can. Like yeah. chest, chest is the controller. Yeah. Um, the clubs are just an extension of what you are. Okay. And, and then you like, you can play around with, you know, if you're going for a really wide base, I was expecting to see really high loft. Yeah. In, in Cause you're going to give it a bit more force. Sure. You know, like if you're going a bit lower, a bit narrower, you can stay on top of it a bit easier. Right. Um, okay. Cause if the wide, if you, I mean, for you, if you go like a wide base, yeah. to turn your hips, it takes a long time. Right, okay, okay. Which is obviously a short shot, you need a bit of turn. Yeah. Whereas like, if you go really narrow, turn well, your you hips becomes quite easier. easier right? Okay, interesting. So like, so that, for when I'm like seeing you there, um, but yeah, that, I mean, you've got like a nice move. Right. But if the, if they were the two keys, like yeah. feel a bit of a narrow stance, and then just feel like you're gonna get your and chest turning. And just really turn the chest yep. into it, okay. It's a bit narrower than that. So that That's it. So really, so would you say this is, is this shoulder width? Sort yeah, perfect. Of, I was like this before, wasn't it? Yeah, that, yeah, the big wide, yeah. Whoops. A bit shoulder width, ball position, middle, and just turn your chest yeah. back and through. Ah, it's not, it's a bit low. I think I take that over what I was doing before with it. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's not too thing. far away. No. Um, I mean, in terms of like the strikes, like whereabouts are they coming out of? I thought, to be fair, I think they're all quite clean. In fact, we can actually see from the actual awful stuff that I've done before, that was there. They're more like there now, aren't they? Yeah. Now, my, my miss is always, yeah, well, you're going to see the awful bits that I was doing before. My miss was always kind of high and toey. Um, if I'm getting it kind of around there, that's probably quite good for me. What, yep. what groove should, should we aim for? You, on I, mean, the, on the club? I mean, my club's a bit dirty, but you're, you're looking head. between like three and four. Okay, okay. Um, for, for me, like that's your optimum. Yeah. Right, um, okay. A bit lower than that, it's going to be... Going to do, do that. Do that, right. yeah. Okay. So a bit, yeah, it's a bit narrower. There we go, yeah. That's it. Like I said, that's my, my norm is to set up like yeah, that. Yeah, like, so yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, you, I mean, try, experiment it. Try and go a bit narrower. Okay, we'll go there you go, like that's that. it, that's it. Okay. There you go. Oh, that's the best I've done so far. It almost feels like my bottom, some, some muscles in my body is working slightly but differently. That, that's, because yeah. Of, yeah, because I'm working, working my chest yeah. there, which is quite good. Okay, so in terms, so I, I've, you can see I've changed from that. Would, would that there be just because I'm probably not turning enough yeah, with my arms you're, rather you're, than anything? Yeah, you're gouging. Um, you, your arms, are, you're obviously trying to guarantee a strike. You leak yeah. loads of shaft lean. It, I mean, you're just taking rugs. So something as simple as really just changing my stance yeah, to make it look more like the, that. Yeah, but wide, the wider your stance is, obviously the more power you're going to have. Yeah. So, you know, you're looking to try and be a little bit narrower, try and be a bit more delicate, yeah. you know, finesse. Okay. Um, and, that, and I think like there's, you know, there are a few keys that yeah. as you had a driver stance, you try and hit it with most force. Yeah. You know, trying to hit a few chip shots, you're really nice. Yeah. Right, okay. Whilst, whilst I have you, so that, that was yep. a, a particularly bad part of my game, but it looks like just by something simple like that. One thing that from my 27 years of, of living, I've never been able to do a hit bunkers very well. Can we okay. just pop over to the bunker and just see? Because it's, like, it's I've never had a lesson with it. I think a lot of people probably, a lot of amateurs probably struggle with bunkers as well, yep. just because they don't really know what to do. If we can talk about the fundamentals of them quickly and just see what's what. Of course. Like, okay, I'll just yeah, take yeah. a 60 with me if that's yep. all right. The, the front left pin here. Yep. Um, just talk me through this, if this was in tournament play. Yeah, so I'm, I mean, I'm looking at this like, you know, the, the good, perfect line in there, those two balls there. Yeah. Um, you know, I'm looking at like, you firstly have the flight, how, how far I'm gonna hit it. And then I'm looking at my lie, obviously got a nice lie here. Um, yeah. So like, I'll be looking at that thinking, okay, I'm looking at the flight. So I'm, then that goes into my setup. So I'll be choosing, you know, like I'll draw lines in here. Yeah. If, if that's your like ball line, I'm looking at contact point, probably about there. Okay. Um, my left heel sits on the ball point, just probably just in front. Yeah. And then I'm looking at like, if I was to put the, ground, the club to sit on the ball. Yeah. And then quite similarly, but you're just going to hinge it. Yeah. And then turn. 
And it's gonna should just roll out. Yeah, I hope we can hear in the microphones the thump that, yeah. that, that you make. Is that while well, having the correct bounce, but also the correct delivery into, into the sound? Yeah, so like, it's, it's having the confidence in, for me with the club, like the bounce, as you have, like, you, I mean, camera might not be able to see it from yeah. that far, but you're looking at this line on the back of it, should, yes. should be where you should be striking the club. Okay. Um, you know, like if you look at this here, yeah. if you were to be like, your look should be looking to hit the sound with this. Okay, okay, interesting. Does that make sense? Yeah, not yeah, the leading yeah, edge to try and get it out. It, right. I mean, so though, they're, they're the two things. So I'm looking at that the ball position, handle position, yeah. and then like making it basic. So I'm looking at the there and with the right bounce, I can then strike the ground with confidence. And, yeah, okay. And to get it out. Yeah, I think the, the acceleration is one thing that I think yeah. once you have that confidence is really impressive. Yeah. And it, win that the, one. Especially with that shot, just a nice little bit of bit Yeah, a little bit of roll out. So, for, so what I've always struggled with with bunkers, yeah. like I don't know if we'll have any B-roll for this, but hopefully we do. But what I've always struggled with bunkers is I somehow like, yeah tow it so badly like when okay. we've seen these marks it even more so and it goes like over there yeah. type okay. thing yeah um and it's led to me to almost have this sense of like anxiety in bunkers okay. whereby yep. i'm in it and i'm like oh my god like when i get up and down no i just want to get it out like i'm praying if i was here i'm like i just want to get it on the green so i think like big thing is like in a bunker loft your friend yeah so, so really so have some add some loft okay. um like to start with like yeah. and forget where the ball's gonna go look okay really. so we're in a practice bunker it means nothing yeah. but like a loft your friend set up to it for me okay so like you get wired base. Um, yeah. You can stand a little bit further away. Okay. That's it. Perfect. Is that base base okay? That's pretty good. Yeah. yeah okay. Wait, it's weight sixty percent in your left foot. Okay. That's it. And then and then feel like you're gonna just strike the back of the club in, in about in there. there. Okay. That's what I have. Okay. Yeah. Hear, yeah. Yeah. I can see it. I, yeah. And, okay. I, and I know and I know that's gonna make another mark, mark on yeah, where, yeah, the, where yeah. the grooves are, are not. Okay. But it's just I'm so, also I'm so nervous over it. Yeah. I feel, I feel. So like when when I mean your back swing there is like really short. Okay, is it? Yeah. So feel like you're gonna try this one where you're gonna have loft and you're gonna go a bit longer. Yeah. And then you're gonna go to short. Okay. What? So long, long, long to, to short. short. Okay. With loft on it. Okay. Oh, okay. I'm yeah. happy the bad shots are there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're there. <laughs> yeah. That's fine. <laughs> they're, they're there. Yeah. And then so then same similar again. Yeah. But when you try this. If you were to like mirror me, sure. you're gonna you're gonna feel like you're gonna swing around more. Okay, what well, am I more going up? You're right? going like up, I right? See. Does that right. make sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so feel so like so feel you get yeah numb. Okay. So you're gonna like that's it. Swing swing a bit more around yourself. Okay. I, I, I always try the sand. Yeah, for some reason I always think when I think of hinging my wrist, I just got like, you, you think up. Yeah, rather than yeah. So you can around. still hinge. If you were to like draw a line, but if it's a target line, yeah. If you were to draw a line, like you're gonna try and get the butt of the club when you do that. To aim at that club because you can hinge it on any line you like. Right, you can okay. hinge it shallow, yeah. you can hinge it steep. Yeah. But you're going to try and get, if you go to the, so if you set up to it, sure. And take your club to where your arm's parallel to the floor. Okay. Like Keep going, next one. You, you're going like to try that. and get the butt of the club like there. Like that, okay. Yep. <laughs> Close. But you seem like you've I can't gone, believe that's on camera. Yeah. I, I, I've just missed the ball in a bunker and I put it in a video for all you guys to see. If you guys don't want to miss the ball in the bunker and hit shots like this, make sure you hit that big red subscribe button down below to keep up to date with all of Golf Magic's content. Back to the video. It's gone like full, full like extension. Okay, yeah. And the ball's gone nowhere. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah, but that happens. I've, I've remember, I've actually got a video where that's happened. Okay. Um, so you feel, feel like you're going to draw it. Okay. So like, if you if you just draw it, set up right, yeah. right head, leg back, and you're gonna try okay. and draw, draw this bunker shot. Sure. You're gonna like, so really, really um, like that, right? exaggerate. Okay. That's it. And what I'm just You're gonna try and draw it. Doesn't okay. matter where it goes. Yeah, little, okay. little, little draw. Sure. Nearly. I know, I know what you mean. I feel like I'm just leaving it so open. But you're, you're basically, you're going, you drag it so much. Okay. And then, and then you've got so much, your club's so far out, yeah. you like, you dig it under the ground. Uh, yeah. Does that, that make sense? No, yeah, because that, that but, um, that but for noise. like pe people looking back home, yeah. you look into like, if you look at your divots, like really, you can see the yellow under the sand. Yeah. You're trying to t take as not 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 really steep, but not like a little bit of sand. Yeah. Str trying to keep the like I said, the ball there. Weight stays left because and weight you, um, lofts your friend. Yeah. And then you just try to get this here to strike the strike the sand. Yeah. Okay. And and make that conscious thought. Sure. To feel uh, you can have more loft, ha lower the handle. Yeah. Okay. And, and feel like you can hit, use the back so of the club. Okay, and just and stay left. Yeah. Oh, that sounded a little bit better, but it's still yellow in it. Uh, yeah. Sound closer. Yeah. 
Go on, do me one more, I can start watch from here. Yeah. There's, so like here, if I was like, then just dra drag this foot like back to a, there there. Go, that's it, okay. that's, better, that's it. And really just. L lower the handle and stand further away. You stand way too near it. Keep oh, going, keep going, like keep that. going, keep going. Oh my there God. Go. Like that. Yeah. <laughs> well, it can't get much worse. So stand further away, lower the handle, and feel like you're gonna draw it. Okay. Close. It's, it's getting there. You're uh, aim right. You're not aiming. You're actually still aiming oh, left with the flag okay. there. We'll get you out. Yeah. And I'm not, I'm not going to be a complete perfect lie. Oh no! Yeah, yeah. Give me, give me. I don't deserve. Aim. So aim. Feel like you're aiming the right one. Okay. Keep, that's a, and then, but we're going to pull it onto the left one. Okay. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah you, I mean, you're aiming. You've got to keep keep aiming further right. There you go. Like there you go. Oh my lord. Okay. And really just. And then feel like you're going to pull it onto the left okay. one. Okay. That makes sense. Oh, it's, it's so close. So when you get and this last shot, because this is this, you're gonna be stay, don't move very much. Okay. But you're gonna do that. But when when you do it, you're gonna let the club overtake you. Okay. Because you're driving it. Oh, am I? What's I'm hitting it like I'm in. Okay. The driver. Right. You got to let the club overtake you. Okay. That's it. Yeah, I get you. Oh. There we go. There we go. We're getting Be closer. Better, yeah, better. I mean, to go from that to that. Let's 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 hit one more. Come on. Then. You can you can see the no the noise is getting a little bit better there. Yeah. But that, that's I basically. So, I was so if, drastically. If you wanted, if you wanted to practice drill yeah. for, for a lot of people back home, a bit of fun. Yep. Is try and just hit right hand only. Uh what? To, what is that to let the club release? Really? Yeah. Before, right, okay. If you like, I mean, I'll, if you like, if yeah, you set up to it like this. So you're going to go right hand only. Um, you can put your left hand where you like. Yeah. But you're looking at like in terms of so it, that it does so many good things for letting the club go past you. Have a go. So we get, yeah, what, what if I what if I just pure it first time when I start just, just play just out right, bunkers right, right hand only? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's worth a nice light. So really, what just there you go. Like that. You can tell by the sound, the strike. Yeah, then, yeah. right hand only. Oh, it's a nice sound. Practice thing. Yeah. I, was, <laughs> I whiffed it twice. In this video. The thing is, that was quite a nice sound. Sounds yeah. Right, yeah, right that, hand only. That, that was a practice swing. I can't do that again. Come I mean, on, Will right hand only. You can do it. Laughing at me. Come on. Oh, oh. Right. Once, <laughs> once, once you get better at it, is, that, is the reason exactly. why I'm doing that? Why I'm essentially you're, missing the ball because I'm still so outside. You're, you're, you're basically you aim too. You're too near the ball. Okay. Your shoulders are open. Yeah. And then you you, you miss the ball. Right. Okay. Does that makes sense. That, so you that need does to make sense. My shoulders are open. Yeah. Shut, you shut your shoulders. Yeah. And hit. And that's why I like mentioned to try and feel like you're going to draw it. Okay. So. You, Feel like you're going to shut your shoulders and let, and let the, oh, and let the club see. square. I, I, I get you. Okay. So even though I feel like I'm aiming left, my shoulders are probably aiming neutral. Yes. Okay. Last one, perhaps. So That's way it. further away. Lower. That's it. Is that all right, right? Right foot back. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. There you go. <laughs> and and then sh shoulder. Sh That's yeah. it. And then let the club just over pass, go, okay. go past. And you'll be perfectly okay. fine. You're so close. I'm so close. But that's enough for me to practice. It show how drastically wrong yeah. it was to me to, to getting it out. Yeah. But so like, I feel like I'm still bottling him out a little bit early. Yeah, because you're trying to get the club out of the ball out of the sand. Yeah. Is that, yeah. And I totally understand it. It's the yeah. tough tough, toughest part of the game. Yeah, absolutely. And it's, it's the toughest part for me. So I do. I appreciate your help because I've, I've always been in bunkers, as we can see beforehand, just completely incorrect. So that's going to that's gonna really help a lot. And I hope that helps you guys too and you've got a laugh out of it by seeing me. Um, Miss the ball three times <laughs> in the bunker. So yeah. thank you. <laughs> really appreciate sure. it. Thank you very much. <laughs> well, that was uh, tough. I've exposed myself for my bunker play to all the golf magic viewers, but it's been a bit of time, and now I'm getting there. I'm thumping the sand a lot better. Now there's still a lot of work to do. You can see that I'm still a little bit steep into it, but I'm understanding how to use the bounce of my new SM10 wedge correctly. So I hope this video has helped you guys because Todd was an absolute gent and he's provided many tips in this video that will help you guys get better from 100 yards and in. If you guys have enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like down below and if you are new to Golf Magic, make sure you smash that big red subscribe button too. Until the next video guys, catch you later.